Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Today we're working with Module 5, Lesson Number 4, and today we will de be decomposing fractions into, some, into smaller unit fractions. And we're going to still be using tape diagrams, just as we have in the first three other lessons of this module. Let's take a look at the first problem. Problem number one, I left up here for you to see because we're going to work actually on problem 2A, but I wanted to make sure that you could see how they had worked on problem number one, and maybe we'll refer to it along the way. So let's read the, the instructions for number two. The total length of each tape diagram represents one. Okay. Decompose the shaded fractions as the sum of smaller unit fractions in at least two ways. Okay, well, let's see what we've got here. We've, we're being told that the total length of each type diagram represents 1. So we know that this is 1 fourth plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth plus 1 more fourth that isn't shaded. So I think we can say that this tape diagram represents 3 fourths, right? 3 of our four sections, and the four sections together make up a 1 unit. Awesome. But what if we took our uh, red pen here and we decomposed each of the fourths in half. So I'm going to write, I'm going to use the red marker here to say, how many then, how many pieces do we have if we count all the decomposed parts? Let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eighths, right? And how many of those eighths are shaded? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I would say that this is the same as six eighths, right? This part, the same part as three-fourths, is also six-eighths because we've taken each one of the fourths and we've divided in half, and now we have many smaller pieces, they're eighths, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we have six of them shaded, whereas on the top we had one, two, three, four, fourths, and we had only one, two, three of them shaded, three-fourths. Excellent. So I think that really helps us figure this out. And I realize here, as I'm looking at the instructions here, that they did the decompositions on the second diagram over here. So I apologize if I've confused you a little bit. Let's take a look at another problem. Problem 3 asks, draw tape diagrams to prove the following statements. The first one has been done for you. And they say, well, let's try to prove that 2 fifths equals 4 tenths. And so on the top side here, they look at the bigger units, the fifths, right? One, two, three, four, five, two of which are shaded, so that's two fifths. And then they took the same fifths and they subdivided the fifths in half. So they made tenths. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's tenths. And how many of those are shaded? One, two, three, four. Four tenths. And sure enough, whether you look at it as the bigger unit, two-fifths, or as the smaller unit, four-tenths, those describe the exact same shaded area. Let's see if that works for our problem B, which has three-sixths and six-twelfths. Well, we're going to need to draw our tape diagram first, right? And in the beginning, we're going to draw, we're going to divide this into sixths, right? So let's see. That looks like one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see, how many of those are shaded? Three sixths. So that's one, two, three. I'm going to put this. Three sixths are shaded. Now, what if we took each of these, and I don't have a dotted line, but I've got a red line. What if we took each of the six and divided them in half? Like that. Now we've divided into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelfths, right? And how many of those twelfths are shaded? One, two, three, four, five, six. That tells me that there are six twelfths that are shaded, shaded portion there. And sure enough, it looks like we have proved what we were asked to, which is that three sixths is the same as six twelfths, right? The same shaded area is shaded whether we think of the big units, sixths, or the small units, twelfths. Awesome. Well, that gives you a little bit of help so you can solve some of the other problems in number three, and you can work on other problems in the problems in the homework set as you need to, uh, including four, five, and six that ask you to show other equivalencies between fractions. Thanks for joining me again on another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. We'll see you again next time.